Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I will show you how to replace the screen of a Mio Mini using a BlackBerry Bolt 9900 screen. As you can see, the results are great, but this is in no way a quick and easy screen replacement. Having said that, this guide assumes that you are an absolute beginner and goes into all the necessary details. Bear with me as I walk you over the process. What we will do is we will take out the Mio Mini screen, even if it's not working. Then we will separate the LCD from the front glass and we will put that front glass on top of the screen which we will take out of the BlackBerry 9900 bolt. Why go through all this trouble, you might ask? Well, if you go on the AliExpress official Mio Mini store, you will find out that all the replacement screens are out of stock. At the same time, on eBay, there is plenty of compatible BlackBerry Bolt 9900 screens. You can easily grab one for maybe 10, 12, maximum 15 euros. For those of you watching from the United States, I would guess you might be able to get one for approximately $20, including shipping. Finally, this has also already been done. There are a couple of posts on Reddit on how to do it on a Mio Mini version 1 and also how to do it on a Mio Mini version 2. However, this is in no way a fast or straightforward process. That's why I thought that a video guide is absolutely necessary. My recommendation to you is that you get all the right tools, plus you get yourself sufficient free time, I recommend a few hours, before you start this process. Do not be in a hurry, as the time invested is going to be proportional to the quality of the results that you will get. I will now give you an overview of all the tools that I used to execute this properly, or what worked for me to do it the right way. First, you will need flat screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver and tweezers. Then, you will need pry tools, both plastic and ideally also metal ones. You also need acetone to clean residue. Also, protective glasses. Do yourself a favor and get proper ones. Very important, double-sided adhesive tape with width 1 mm and 2 mm. At first, I attempted to use super glue as it was listed in the original guide that I found on Reddit. However, the results were not very good, so I stopped in the middle of the process, ordered myself adhesive tape, and waited for it one month to be delivered. Next, you also need scissors and a black acrylic marker. Finally, you also need screen cleaning wipes, same as the ones that you usually use when applying a screen protector. All right, let's get on with it. One of my BlackBerry screens was already disassembled from the mobile phone unit, and this is the one that I use to do the screen replacement. If yours is not disassembled and you have a whole device, then I'm going to link into the description a very detailed and great guide on YouTube on how to do the disassemble process. If you look at the edges of the BlackBerry screen case, you will see that there are these metal holders that you're going to need to release in order to be able to take out the LCD screen. At first I tried separating the screen from the case by using the plastic pry tool, but I was not very successful, so I switched to a metal flat screwdriver. I used it to bend the black metal casing outwards so that I can release the screen. After I finished all four sides, I switched back to the plastic pry tool to be able to lift up the screen from the case. As you can see, the screen has a few ribbon cables, some of them used for the digitizer and the touchscreen, which are not necessary on a Mio Mini. We are going to cut them. With that, the screen is free from the front glass case. This front glass case is no longer necessary. It is time to trim and shorten the rest of the unnecessary ribbon cables. 
Let's disconnect the only ribbon cable that we will be actually using. It is connected in a port on the back of the screen, which you can release with your nail or a flat screwdriver. Finally, you must remove the tape, which is holding the ribbon cable tightly near the screen. Now you can disconnect the ribbon cable. Note, I had to wiggle mine a little bit so it gets released. I did not remove the connector and the chip next to it, as I found out that they add no bulk when this screen is installed on top of the Mayo Mini. However, it is a consideration for you to do so if you feel it's necessary. The screen is now ready to be tested on the Miu Mini. Now we will disassemble the Miu Mini to test the BlackBerry screen. I'm only going to show the major steps in the disassemble process as I have another video where I go in grave details into the Miu Mini disassemble process. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. First you remove the SD card and the back cover that covers the battery. Then you just take out the battery and disconnect it from the connector. I usually help myself with a flat screwdriver. Now you need to unscrew the six screws on the back of the Miu Mini. We then remove the back cover. Then we lift the ribbon cable tape and unlock the ribbon cable. Now it is freed up and we can remove it with a little bit of help from the pry tool. Time to connect the BlackBerry screen and test it. A quick orientation check to be sure how to position it for the test. Let's plug it in and lock it. Time to connect the battery and verify the result. All seems good, the Mi Mini boots and displays on the BlackBerry screen. That's good enough for now, let's shut it down. It seems that I'm getting very skilled at blindly pushing the A button to confirm the shutdown. Let's disconnect the BlackBerry screen and leave it aside for a while. Meanwhile, let's finish disassembling the Mio Mini. Disconnect the battery again. Clean up your workspace and leave the motherboard. Remove the membranes and the buttons underneath. Clean up your workspace even more and then use your blow dryer to loosen the adhesive that holds the screen. Push the screen out using the hole on the back of the Miu Mini. Help yourself with a flat screwdriver if you have to. Excellent, now that the screen is out, it's time to separate the glass from the LCD. I won't lie to you. You must be mentally prepared because this is the most tedious, slowest and most boring part of the whole process. First of all, I suggest that you put something on top of the leftover adhesive so that it doesn't get in the way. As you can see, I have a strip of nylon there. It does the job very well. First of all, I used my plastic pry tool around the corners to lift the glass from the rest of the screen. After I finished going along all four corners, the screen was very easy to open in two pieces. Even though the screen is broken and we will be using only the glass, I still recommend to you to do the separation gently. As you can see, I have two pieces now, a reflective one on the right and a white one on the left with a sheet with black corners on top of it. Next, I used my pry tool to lift the reflective surface as well. After, it was very easy to separate the two pieces from one another. That left piece, which is the LCD screen with some filters on it, can be discarded. In my case, it anyway didn't work anymore. The other piece is the glass with, unfortunately, polarizing filter on top of it. It's what makes it look so dark. 
If you take a moment to test it on top of your BlackBerry screen, you will see that the image looks distorted. This is because the BlackBerry screen is not compatible with the polarizing filter on top of the new mini glass. We will have to remove it. First of all, clean up your workspace and then use a blow dryer to loosen the adhesive. Have it run for a minute or two. It became a little bit too hot, so I put a piece of insulation tape on one of the corners and then continued to hold it with tweezers. I'm going to be honest with you, in theory, heating it up should loosen the adhesive and make the process easier, but in the end, it was still very slow and tedious. Next, I put my protective glasses, aka sunglasses, and I started working myself underneath from one of the corners. After a minute or two, I was able to remove a couple of millimeters. I was using my plastic pry tool to get underneath and use it as a lever to lift and break pieces of the polarizing filter. Being so slow reminded me of the Reddit guide where it was clearly visible that the user utilizes a metal pry tool. Although the glass of the Miu Mini screen is actually some plastic composite, I don't think that a metal pry tool would damage it. I leave it up to you to decide. You can see that the space where I have cleared the adhesive is transparent. I decided to reheat the surface, but it didn't feel like it made any difference. The process was still very slow. Once I had cleared a significant part of the surface, I found out that a sliding underneath movement just like what you see on the screen brings me the best results. Let's fast forward 20 minutes into the future. One more time, please. And we are done. End result prior cleaning. Time to clean up all residuals with acetone. And if you are out of cotton pads, such as I am, then an old pair of socks would do. Be careful with the black bezels on the edges, because the acetone would easily wipe away them too. Unfortunately, I myself can't be, because there is residual of super glue from a prior unsuccessful attempt to stick the BlackBerry screen using super glue. It is perfectly clean now, however, there is some damage on the black bezels. Let's use our acrylic marker to fix these. In case of an error, we can wipe away with acetone and start over. The bottom of our BlackBerry screen needs to get through the same paint job because my unit is transparent and if I don't cover this, then it would be aesthetically unpleasant. As both the Miu Mini glass and the BlackBerry screen are now ready, it is a good point in time to clean them using the screen protector wipes. We will be also cleaning them one last time later which will be very important for the end results. Unfortunately, the adhesive, which keeps the screen tightly connected to the case of the Miu Mini, had worn off, so I used my 2mm double-sided tape. Alright, time to install the BlackBerry screen into the Miu Mini. Note that I had already removed the protective foil on top of my double-sided tape. Let's slide the screen into its place. Let's also push it at the top corner to make sure that it nicely sticks towards the adhesive tape. We will now fully assemble the Miu Mini, starting by putting the buttons back in. Next, let's place the membranes. Seat the motherboard on top. Remember to insert the volume wheel first. Connect the ribbon cable and lock the port. Insert the power button. Place the ribbon tape on top of the ribbon cable. Place the back cover. Screw in all six screws. Connect the battery. Place the battery cover. Clean the screen again. Turn it on and leave it running. You can clearly see that there is a 
millimeter, millimeter and a half black bezel surrounding the image on the screen. This is where we will be applying our double sided adhesive tape. This tape is what will keep your Mio Mini plastic front screen stuck on top of the Blackberry LCD. Carefully apply the 1mm tape across all the edges. Be careful not to cover any part of the actual image. I used a Q-tip to push all the adhesive tape and be sure that it is well stuck into place. I suggest that at this point in time you test a few times applying the Mio Mini front glass to get used to the process. Although you won't see me doing it, you must at this point clean with the screen protector wipes both the Mio Mini front glass and the Blackberry screen. After you clean them, it's time to remove the protective foil of the double sided tape. Moment of truth. Let's put on the Mio Mini glass on top of the Blackberry screen. It should fit nicely and seat itself exactly into its place. After you finish applying it, press a few times on the corners to make sure it sticks well. Also, this might be a good point in time to turn off the Miu Mini and leave a couple of heavy books on top of it for a couple of hours. You get bonus points if you disassemble the whole unit, get the screen out and put between the books only the screen. Congratulations if you got through the whole process. As you can see, the results between the unit with the original screen and the unit with the Blackberry screen are almost indistinguishable. The unit with the original screen does have a little bit deeper blacks and that's probably due to the polarizing filter that it has. However, it is hard to trust this comparison. As you might know, there are no two Miu Minis with identical screens. Let me know in the comments what you did differently and how you improved the process.